Welcome to our video on the U.S.-Japan-Philippines Triad, a strategic partnership aimed at strengthening regional relations and cooperation. The United States and Japan have long been staunch allies, with shared democratic values and common security interests. In recent years, the Philippines has emerged as a key partner, forging closer ties with both the U.S. and Japan. Through frequent high-level dialogues and diplomatic exchanges, the triad has deepened cooperation in various areas including defense, trade, and development. Military exercises and joint training programs have bolstered regional security, enabling the triad to respond to common challenges such as maritime security and counterterrorism. Economically, the triad has enhanced cooperation through trade and investment, promoting economic growth and stability across the region. Cultural exchanges and people-to-people -people interactions have fostered understanding and friendship, strengthening the bonds between the U.S., Japan, and the Philippines. Annual summit meetings among triad leaders provide a platform to discuss shared goals and strategies, ensuring continued collaboration and alignment of interests. In conclusion, the U.S.-Japan-Philippines triad plays a vital role in promoting regional stability and prosperity. By working together, these three nations are building a stronger and more interconnected Asia-Pacific. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on global partnerships and cooperation. In this enlightening video, we delve into the powerful alliance known as the U.S.-Japan-Philippines Triad, which plays a pivotal role in strengthening regional relations and fostering cooperation. Discover how these three nations have strategically come together to build a formidable partnership that promotes security, economic growth, and shared values in the Asia-Pacific region. Throughout this engaging discussion, we explore the historical background and evolution of the triad, highlighting the significant milestones and key agreements that have solidified their bond. We examine the geopolitical dynamics at play and the various reasons behind this strategic alignment, including shared security concerns, economic interdependence, and mutual regional interests. Furthermore, this video sheds light on the specific areas where the U.S., Japan, and the Philippines collaborate effectively. From joint military exercises and defense cooperation to diplomatic efforts and economic partnerships, we observe how these cooperative endeavors positively impact regional stability and contribute to the overall prosperity of the Asia-Pacific region. Join us as we analyze the benefits and challenges of the U.S.-Japan-Philippines triad and its implications for regional dynamics. Gain valuable insights into this influential alliance's goals, strategies, and future prospects, exploring how it continues to adapt and expand its cooperation amidst a rapidly evolving regional landscape. Don't miss this opportunity to deepen your understanding of the U.S.-Japan-Philippines triad and its role in promoting regional relations, security, and cooperation. Watch the video now and become part of the conversation. The Philippines and the U.S. are looking forward to having trilateral cooperation pacts with Japan and also with Australia, which they believe share their views on regional security, according to a joint statement released on Monday, Tuesday Manila time. President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. and U.S. President Joe Biden agreed to strengthen their country's bilateral alliance and expand regional collaboration in the areas of peace and security. The leaders welcome cooperation with partners that share the United States and the Philippines' commitment to international law and mutual respect, the joint statement read, which was released after the two leaders' bilateral meeting here. They look forward to establishing trilateral modes of cooperation among the Philippines, Japan, and the United States, as well as the Philippines, Australia, and the United States, it added, during the meeting. The two countries said Philippine and U.S. leaders underscored the importance of respecting the sovereign rights of states within their exclusive economic zones, as well as affirmed the importance of maintaining peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. No details on the trilateral cooperation sought were bared, but Philippine Ambassador to the United States Jose Manuel Romualdez earlier said that joint patrols involving the Philippines, the U.S., Japan, and Australia were possible. Meanwhile, Biden also reaffirmed the ironclad alliance commitments of the U.S. to the Philippines, as he reiterated that an armed attack on Philippine troops, public vessels, or aircraft in the Pacific, including the South China Sea, would invoke the Mutual Defense Treaty. Philippines, Japan I forming security triad with United States of America, Tokyo, 
the Philippines and Japan have agreed to strengthen military and security ties as well as disaster response cooperation, including holding joint military exercises, with an eye to forming a security triad with the United States. The agreement came as the two nations confront China's growing assertiveness in the region particularly in the South China Sea where Beijing has built island fortresses and harassed. Non-Chinese vessels, the two nations' security commitment emerged after a meeting between President Marcos and Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida yesterday. The agreement is also expected to speed up military deployments for humanitarian assistance and disaster relief. They also signed several other deals, ranging from infrastructure loans to cooperation on agriculture and technology. After our meeting, I can confidently say that our strategic partnership is stronger than ever, as we navigate together the rough waters buffeting our region, Marco said following talks with Prime Minister Kishida, Japan is one of the Philippines' closest neighbors and closest friends. Marcos later told reporters, his trip comes a week after Manila announced a deal. Giving U.S. troops access to another four military facilities in the Philippines, Tokyo and Manila are also in preliminary discussions over a key defense pact that would allow them to deploy troops on each other's territory. For training and other operations, Japan, which invaded and occupied the Philippines during World War II, has recently inked similar deals with Britain and Australia, but for now, the leaders are taking an incremental approach to defense cooperation, probably to avoid provoking Beijing, said Renato de Castro, professor in the International Studies Department at De La Salle University. Worried about Beijing's growing assertiveness on Taiwan and bases in the disputed South China Sea, Manila has been repairing ties with Washington that were fractured in recent years, given its proximity to Taiwan and surrounding waters. Cooperation from the Philippines would be key in the event of a conflict with China. Japan last year announced a major defense overhaul, pledging to double defense spending to the NATO standard of 2% of GDP by 2027 and designating China the greatest strategic challenge ever to its security. U.S. role, Kishida indicated that both countries are looking at including the U.S. in the security cooperation and joint activities. The U.S. has separate security treaties with the Philippines and Japan. We will also look into ways to promote our defense equipment and technology cooperation and to strengthen cooperation amongst the Japan, the United States, and the Philippines, Kishida said. He said Marcos's visit gave Japan a renewed momentum for the two nations to further upgrade bilateral partnerships for them make further contributions to the peace and stability of the region and the world. With regards to our security cooperation, I explained to the president such matters as Japan's national security strategy and the president welcomed Japan's commitment to the free and open international order based on rules, he said. Japan is also the Philippines' biggest diplomatic source of active development assistance. According to Manila, and its second-largest trading partner, it is the only country to have a bilateral free trade agreement with the Philippines. On Thursday, the countries also agreed loan agreements and extensions for Philippine infrastructure projects, including $3 billion to finance major commuter rail projects.